tweede wedstrijd, de halve finale, B-Next Playoffs. Willem, we winnen van de bos en we maken het onszelf toch weer moeilijk. Ja, klopt. Kijk, het is playoff basketbal, dus we weten dat het een, een game of runs uh, zal zijn. En uh, dat tot extreme, zeg maar, in playoffs natuurlijk. Dus uh, de Mos heeft een heel goed team, en, uh, maar wij ook. Dus uh, ja, we moeten gewoon alle kansen pakken die we, die we kunnen krijgen. En om hier nu thuis te winnen met Team Plaas en 1-1 te maken is natuurlijk top. Het is, uh, denk ik terecht als ik zeg dat het een uh, tactische wedstrijd is. Ook. Het is de manier waarop zij willen basketballen tegen de manier waarop wij willen basketballen. Dat leidt tot een, een grind game, hè? slechte schotpercentages, harde verdediging, rebound belangrijk. Uh, maar ook een hoop openschoten die wij missen. Hoe komt dat, uh, denk je, Willem? Ja, dat is ook gewoon een beetje de flow of the game. De andere, andere avond zullen ze wel beter vallen en bij hun ook. Dus dan zul je misschien ook een hogere scoring wedstrijden zien. Maar het is wat je zegt, erg fysiek spel. En uh, ja, wij moeten gewoon focussen op de rebound. Ik denk dat deze series de rebound een verschil gaat maken. En dat zag je bij de eerste wedstrijd. We verliezen de rebound dik en we verliezen die wedstrijd. En nu winnen we de rebound en we, en we winnen de wedstrijd. Dus ik denk uiteindelijk dat dat echt een verschil zal gaan maken. Je zegt fysieke wedstrijd, dat komt dan ook tot uiting in... Uh... De, de foutlast, waar jij de eerste wedstrijd flink last van had, waar je nu ook weer last van hebt, dan kom je niet in je ritme en dan heb je de pest in. En wat gebeurt er dan als je gewisseld wordt, Willem? Ja, dan uh, komen er wat frustraties uit. Hè. Het, is, uh, het is playoff basketball, dus uh, de frustraties en de emoties zijn ook wat hoger uh, af en toe. Maar ja, die probeer ik zo snel mogelijk uh, aan de kant te schuiven en uh, weer door naar het volgende. Dat zagen we ook. Hè? Ik wil er ook niet te lang blijven hangen, want ik vond het ook alweer zo'n charme hebben. En, en ik hou er ook al van een speler met een beetje, be, beetje grinta. Uh, maar dan ga je hard naar de ring. Ja. Had dat daar ook mee te maken? Moest er even wat uit? Uh, ja, ook. Maar uh, ik denk dat ik gewoon een uitstekende paas kreeg om die bal ook gewoon af te maken. En ja, nu werd ik gefaald. Maar uh, gebeurt dat niet, dan, uh, dan is het een mooie dunk. En dan uh, gaat Martini Plaza heel los. We winnen. Never too high, never too low. Uh, vizier op de volgende wedstrijd. Wat kunnen we daar verwachten, denk je? Ik denk precies hetzelfde als, uh, als vanavond in de eerste wedstrijd. Heel fysiek spel. Uh, zoals ik al zei, rebound. Het zal het echt, uh, dat zal echt het verschil maken. En ja, het is uh, zondag, uh, zondagmiddag daar. Uh, ik denk dat het uh, ook een full house zal zijn. Dus uh, ja, hun hebben er zin in. Maar uh, wij ook. Heb je, durf je te wagen aan een voorspelling, Willem? Nee, we gaan gewoon uh, wedstrijd voor wedstrijd spelen. Dus uh, we zullen het zien hoe het dan gaat. We gaan keihard ons best doen en uh, keihard knallen. Doe het voor minder dan een double-double van Willem Brandwijk? Dat gaat heel lastig worden, maar zolang we winnen vind ik alles goed. Top, daar ben ik het helemaal mee eens. Dankjewel Willem. Top, bedankt. Pietro Lissimeka, great game! Thank you very much, important win for the team. So, very excited for that. Take it back to Den Bosch. Looking forward to the next game. Your job in this team, I, I dare say, is to bring uh, grit, determination, effort, rebound. Uh, but you've compared that, uh, combined that with uh, scoring. Uh, great game today. Yeah, that, that's the job of the team. I mean, we played hard all together and pushed as much as possible. So, uh, yeah, we, it was a great, 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 great teamwork and great, great effort from everybody. So that's the most important thing. Looking forward to the next, next game. And There's a, a big diversity on, uh, on the Den Bosch side with regards to bigs. They have very athletic jumping bigs and they have uh, uh, the more... Um, uh, the non-movable big guys, uh, uh, the solid ones. Wh which matchup do you prefer? Playing Yuto Kok, Thomas van der Mars? It doesn't matter. I play for my team, so I don't really look at who I'm playing against. I try to get every ball possible and I, don't, I honestly don't see no difference with... Both of them, they both play great, they both play physical, so to me, they're pretty much the same, pretty much. You, you used your smarts because you uh, outwitted Yuto on a couple of occasions. You let him jump first and then put the ball in the hoop. That, that was great. And you had a, a great putback dunk as well. Uh, how are you liking your time in, uh, in Groningen so far? It's good, it's good. The fans are amazing. Everyone came out to support, which we needed as much as possible in the home game. It's a playoff series, so I'm very excited about that. And everyone's been great, friendly around, management, teammates. We keep pushing. We've had a few victories and it's playoffs now, so it's basically all in and hoping on every support we could get. You, you've been on the other side, having played for Leiden, having played against us here last year. Has the uh, experience here in Martina Plaza changed being on the other side now? Uh, let's see. I mean, it's, for me, yeah, it's, it's, it's different. The fans are great. I mean, other side. <laughs> We, we played, we played together and yeah, opposing side now playing for, playing for the team. So pretty much not different, but it's like louder. I feel like it's louder this year and it's, it's very much, I don't know, great atmosphere. 
Your uh, former team Leiden uh, just went up 2-0 in their matchup against uh, Aris. They beat beat Aris. So uh, their the potential prize, if we were to win this uh, series against Den Bosch, will be a matchup against your old co colleagues. Looking forward to that one. Uh, I would say looking forward, but I'm looking at the next game. I'm focused more on the next game and the the future ahead. It's basketball. Anything could happen. They 2-0, but you never could tell. It's it's not over until it's over. So I'm focused on on them Bosch first and then we'll see we'll see with next possible outcomes. Thanks Peter, keep working hard. Thank you very much, thank you. Coach Timac, great win against uh, Heroes Den Bosch. Um, we spoke pre-game and we spoke about the keys to the game. You mentioned uh, rebounding and assist. I think we won in both statistical categories. Yes, we did. Uh, neither of two teams shot well behind the arc. Uh, it was a battle in the paint, battle for rebounds and sharing the ball, um, letting the ball decide. And uh, we did um, not as I imagined that we we were going to, but um, I cannot be unhappy and uh, all the congrats to the players. Um. We've seen a game that was dominated by half-court offense, hardly any, uh, any fast-break points. Um, and we also saw um, a zone defense from Den Bosch in the fourth quarter again. Um, is that something we feel happy with? They are in zone uh, from before. They've, pra they've practiced it also during some games in BNAC, so we knew that there was a matchup zone happening, but of course it's a it's a weapon that kind of try try to take you out of rhythm. Uh, with enough patience, there are good chances to be uh, to be sold. Um, yeah, some half court because probably both sides know the value of the easy points in such a game, and uh, you don't want to allow any kind of run on you. And yet you want to go for a run yourself, but the opponent has pretty much the same idea. Mm, on the other side to put you in in, uh, in a half court uh, set so it's just and you know it, it has to we have to we have to agree that it's a very physical game and we play every two days and um, calendar is not allow doesn't allow us to be fresh and to play our most fresh basketball either. We have now played Den Bosch a couple of times in the uh, Dutch phase of the, the B-Next League. This is the second game in our uh, 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 playoff series against Den Bosch. We played them in the Cup. Both teams now know each other well. They know their tendencies. Uh, does that mean that it will come down to who wants it more, who um, is better able to stick to their own game plan? Without wanting and without uh, putting this delusional, I mean, uh, hallucinant uh, intensity, you know, no team has chances, uh, no, no team's two chances to finish the series where, or how they want. So we have to go to, into a next game with the idea of to step up, to be there, to, to be present, to be physically very, very, very strong. And uh, tactics comes in a second or third as a, as a second or third priority. So the next game is on Sunday. Today, today it's Friday, Friday night even. Uh, Saturday will be a day of resting. So, um, we, we are not going to have a day off. We'll certainly do something, some recovery. Um, we'll see some, uh, we'll analyze the game. Certainly not with too many things, but just to put ourselves in the best possible condition to play the right game on Sunday. Thank you. Good luck on Sunday.